Speaking on behalf of my wife and myself, we would like to place upon record the pride. We feel that you should have selected us to perform this ceremony. In all the years I've been in office, I can recall no happier occasion. No, 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 no. Don't stop him. The work of the railway must go on. Oh, that's all right. I can wait. I'll listen to you. Willie, what's our Willie doing here? Come here, my man. <clears throat> so, you're the wheel tapper, eh? That reminds me of a story they used to tell about a wheel tapper on the line. He'd been tapping wheels for 40 years. And one day somebody asked him why he tapped the wheels. And what do you think he said? <laughs> he said, I'm blown if I know. <laughs> <laughs> He'd been tapping wheels for 40 years and didn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> they think me a little stupid, but why do they tap them? Ah, well, uh, well, you see, it's like this, madam. If I tap the wheel with this hammer and the wheel goes clang, then I know the wheel's there, you see? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but suppose the wheel doesn't go clang. Well, then I know the train's gone. <laughs> That's the lot. Thanks. Pair of dog trousers with white piece stripe. Here. Ditto, cleaning number 1349. Those are mine. I've never been so humiliated in all my life. To think that I should live to see my own brother working as a common wheel tapper. But, my dear... What's the good of being managing director if you can't get Willie a better position than that? But we've tried him in everything. Well, if that's the best you can do, I should insist on Willie resigning from the railway altogether. You mean leave us altogether? Certainly. After all, there's no need for him to work on the line. No, there must be other things he can do. Exactly. He can come and live with us. What? In our house? Why not? Better that than tapping wheels. But, my dear... My mind is made up. Either Willie gets a decent job, or he comes to live with us. Yes, but... Uh, I'll do that thing and don't argue. Don't be hasty, my dear. I'll see the superintendent at once. That's more like it. I'll go and fetch Willie. But I damn, sir. He should be fired. You know the board's attitude towards incompetence. No, you don't understand, old man. If he's fired, my wife's going to have him live with us. Mm. Oh, life wouldn't be worth living. I wouldn't have a sock to call my own. Oh, you have my sympathy, sir. Sympathy's no good. What I want is help. Mm, well, uh, have you any special position in mind for him? No, no. So long as it has the semblance of promotion. Hmm. Well, would it matter if we sent him very far away? The farther the better. Well, uh, now let me see. Come on, Willie. There's nothing to be nervous about. Oh, I'm not nervous. I've been here before. I hope you've explained the situation, Charles. Well, my dear, I was just... Uh... You see, Mr. Young, we don't think it conforms with our dignity to have a relative of ours tapping wheels. We've never had a tapper in our family, have we, Willie? Well, there was Uncle Joe. I thought we'd taken you off tapping. You were supposed to be sorting parcels. What were you doing on the line, anyway? Well, after I checked 200 Stilton cheeses, I needed some fresh air. You've never given the boy a proper chance. We've tried him in many capacities, my dear. What positions has he held? In 1934, we made him chief coupler at Middleswick. And you know what you did there? Yes, I coupled. Yes, you coupled a coal train to the Scotch Express. Who? 
I did nothing of the sort. You deny it? Certainly I do. I did not couple the coal train to the Scotch Express. I coupled the Scotch Express to the coal train. Fancy putting anyone with Willie's intelligence to couple trains. On Derby Day 1935, we put you on the indicator board. Yes, it's quite right. And you sent 12,000 racegoers to a temperance convention in Wales. <laughs> Did you hear about that too? Hear <laughs> about it? Yes, from 12,000 racegoers. Charles! Uh, yes, my dear. Either Willie gets promoted or... What vacancies are there? There's a vacancy for a sleeping car attendant. No, that would keep him up too late. There's a guard wanted for a milk train. No, that'll get me up too early. Oh, well, that's all there is. Right. Come on, Willie. Surely there, there must be something. Well, we've already offered him two posts. What does he want? Uh, just a minute. Have you got any station masters? Huh. London mainline terminus, I suppose. Oh, no, no. Start me in Manchester, Birmingham. I'll work my way up. Well, there aren't any station master vacancies. Ah, there you are, sis. See what I'm up against. Victimization. The one job I know I can do, and they won't give me a chance. What's this? Oh, that must have just come in. There's a place in Ireland called Buggles Kelly. Oh, that's nothing. There's a place in Wales called Clan for Quilquin, Gilfco, Goggery, Clandy Silly, or Go, 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 Go. They want a station master at Buggles Kelly. What? Excuse me one minute. Mr. Ledbetter, about that vacancy for a station master at Buggles Kelly, I thought we filled there a month ago. Yes, sir, but it's vacant again. Don't know, sir. Local conditions would appear to be peculiar. We've sent them five station masters in 12 months. What happened to the last one? I'll read you his letter, sir. Sounds a bit queer to me. Dear sir, since coming to this district, I have discovered I am Napoleon Bonaparte, and since you refuse to transfer me to Waterloo, I resign. P.S. Please forward all letters to Moscow. I intend to retreat there. Extraordinary. And the one before him, why did he leave? I have no idea, sir. Oh, but I remember we sent a wreath. Sounds the very place. Can I have it? You've got it. It's a country station, rather off the beaten track. Oh, I don't mind, as long as it's near the railway. Let me see. Here's our line running through Northern Ireland, and here is Buggles Kelly. when they heard I was leaving London. What, what might the inscription be? <laughs> to William Porter, uh, that's really, from his fellow workers on the occasion of his promotion to the station master at Buggles Kelly. What's that he said? This gentleman is the new station master for Buggles Kelly. Poor man. And hit a stranger. Why, what's wrong with it? It's a brave man, the char. No chick in the child, a man will walk abroad there after that. Is it damp or something? Did you ever hear tell of One-Eyed Joe, the Phantom Miller? No, I never follow greyhounds. Follow, is it? <laughs> follow. You'll be a lucky man if One-Eyed Joe never follows you. He was murdered by the railway, so he was. In the old days, he was a rich man, and a miser too, so they say. He owned the Puka Hill and the mill that stands on top of it. You should be able to see it from here, I suppose. Then one day the railway came along, and what did they do but start to run a tunnel right through the heart of the hill without by your labor nothing? Oh, well, that was hardly uh, sick transit law there, was it? He should have sued him. He did better. He put a curse on the line and swore that any train that entered the tunnel should never come out again. Well, that would mess up the timetables a bit, wouldn't it? The first train that came along there in the mouth of the tunnel stood one eyed Joe with his arms upraised. Go back, go back, he cried. But the engine driver drove straight on. What, over cock eyed Joe? On the next morning, his body was found on the line. And every night, when the moon gives light, the ghost of the miller is seen. As he walks the track with the sack on his back, down to the black for him. And the miller wheels turn, though the night is still. And the old lights flash from the ruined mill. He haunts the station, he haunts the hill, and the land that lies between. Buggles Kelly. Oh, Oh, I 
say, it's just two miles to Buckle Skelly from here. I can't help it. Well, how do I get there? You walk. Follow this road round the foot of Pooker Hill. Past the Witch's Oak. Drop down into Hell's Hollow. Well, I only asked you a simple question. And the station's right in front of you. You can't miss it. Oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, good night, sir. Good boy to you. Yeah. Oh, you're the funny-looking bird. Why, you, you flat-faced bullet. Next train's gone. There's no sense in that. It's like saying that the last train that came in hasn't. Hasn't uh, what? Well, hasn't the guy gone? Or, don't argue with me. Come out, let me in. Come out? What, at night? Not me. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, there you are. What, are you here again? Again? I haven't been away yet. What's the idea of keeping me out of my own station? Come out. Oh, what a station. Look at that. A bit of fishes, ain't you? Listen, I don't want any of this from you. Who are you, anyway? Me? I'm Arbottle. Porter, shunter, signalman, deputy station master when there isn't a station master, which is more open than not. Oh, uh, well, there's one now, see? Where? Here, I'm the station master. Where's your clock? What clock? Your presentation clock. How did you know I got one? Ah, uh, they all bring them. Bung it with the others. Uh, they look lovely when they knew, don't they? William Porter. Another William. That was William O'Shea. Poor Bill. Why, what happened to him? They put him away. Had to. Oh. oh. Mick McGuire. Well, why did he leave? Nobody knows. He went out after dark. Where to? Don't know. Never saw him again. But we heard him. At least Albert did. Albert? Who's Albert? He functions for me when I'm not here. Oh. Well, which is his clock? He hasn't got a clock. He's still alive. Yeah. Hey, give me that back. Well, aren't you going to put it with the others? What, amongst them? Yeah. There are a lot of tombstones. What's that? If it gives two owls, owls and a toot, it's Albert. Oh, well, he's not afraid of the dark anyway. Oh, he plays with the pixies. Oh, does he? Ah, well, all that's going to stop from now on. <coughs> Here's your supper, J.M.R. Mine ready? <coughs> yep. <coughs> One. New station master. <coughs> hmm. Got a nasty cough, hey. Hey, hey, never mind about my cough. You show a little more respect to your superiors. And put that back where you got it from. And take your cap off. 
And you. What have you got there? Marsh up a beer. Have some? Certainly not. This place is far too free and easy altogether. I don't know with a man in my position hobnobbing with his staff. You keep your place and I'll keep mine. What is it, bitter? She belong to. Where? Here. She's out. Oh, yes. I suppose that's her name, is it? Something burning somewhere? It's the Albert cooking the breakfast. It smells more like somebody cooking Albert. <laughs> ah, I think I'm going to like Buckle of Kelly. Yeah, in the daytime. <laughs> Oh, you've got a big cheese here. Yeah, this is where you sit. Ah. Thank you. Where did this come from? Don't you say? No, it just says where it's going to. Here, yeah, I say, what's the idea of this? Me tell me you're eating food that doesn't belong to you. Well, we've got to live somehow. We haven't any place since we came to Ireland. Well, we can't starve, so we borrow things. Borrow? You mean you steal things from the railway? I wouldn't call it stealing. Call it stepping off the country. Danish? Huh. Not particular which country either, are you? Well, that's all right. We paid for that. Oh, what did that cost you? Ticket to Belfast. Yeah. A what? A ticket to Belfast. Yes, that's how we get everything. Good, isn't it? <laughs> so that's it. You've been getting goods by giving away the company's tickets. Well, I've never heard of such a thing. It's absolutely dishonest. Don't you understand you're in a position of trust here? Suppose the company came along and started checking up on their tickets. Wouldn't know where they'd gone to. You'd be in a fine mess, wouldn't you? That's right. Well, it isn't right. In future, you'll make sure those tickets come back. How? Well, give them return tickets. Mmm. Nice piece of bacon, this. Uh, Danish, too. No, this is homegrown. Oh. Yeah, some sauce. Well, go on, something in the shop. This time. But don't keep the customers waiting. It's Murphy. Call for his pigs. Well, give them to him. Can't. Not now. What do you mean, not now? If there is probably, he can have them any time he likes. Well, uh, not all of them. Yeah. Not all of them? Well, why not all of them? Where'd you get this bacon? That's right. Well, that's a nice state of affairs. You don't have to steal the company's goods, pawn their tickets, but you actually pinch things from a customer. Well, who's going to tell him? You are. You're a station master. I'll do no such thing. That's not part of a station master's duties. Man comes here, leaves his pigs with the company. When he comes back, what does he find? Finds you beaten them. Yeah. Well, how was I to know? Well, somebody better tell him before he knocks that door down. Well, I, I'll tell him. I can report this to the company. That's a disgrace. We're sitting there like a couple of pigs eating. Well, you're a pair of cannibals. That's what you are. Oh, so there you are. Yes, well, what can I do for you, Mr... Uh... My name's Murphy and I want some pigs. Oh, have you got your voucher? Is this what you mean? Yes, uh, are you sure you left them at the station? Of course I'm sure. Come on now, let's have them. Uh, well, uh, they've been here a long time, you know. Used to come sooner. <coughs> See, we've uh, we've had rather a cold spell and pigs are only human after all. I couldn't come sooner. My wife's had quinties. What, like that woman in Canada? Have you got two pigs of mine here or haven't you? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, I... Uh... Oh, I won't give you a moment. We've got them. What are you? Yes. A knife? Yes. Where are they? In there. I thought you said we'd eat them. Oh. <coughs> oh, well, would you come and identify your property, Mr. Murphy? I will, no. There you are. Hey, it's just two here. Who's the other one belong to? Him. The bird six. Oh, yeah. Well, Mr. Murphy, let me congratulate you. Your pigs have had a visit from the stock. Looks as if they had a visit from the butcher, too. Where's the rest of them? Eh? What about the litter? Oh, don't worry about that. We'll clear it up. I mean the litter of pigs. Oh, there it is. <coughs> but you don't call one a litter, do you? Patsy Jane never follows less than seven. Well, you can't expect them to keep it up all the time, can you? 
I wants me property. Well, take it, two pigs, that's all it says here. I wants me litter too, tis the law of nature. Ah, but it's not the law of the railway. What doesn't go in can't come out. I mean, what, what you can't do, what you don't put in, you can't take out, can you? I mean, it's here for you, you agree with yourself. There you are, the company should be liable in the aggregate for Mr. Liver detention, Mr. Uh, negligence, uh, case, uh, more in the separately, uh, uh, if it's left on the premises. There you are, left on the premises. You left two pigs, you can't get down that plane, it's a pig staff. He has stolen me litter, I'd sue the company. I'm sorry, Mr. Murphy, but rules are rules, litter or no litter, and I'm acting strictly within the, litter, the letter of the law. Yes, baby, black eyed oil, settle with you. Uh, well, in the meantime, you might just settle this bill, will you please? A bill? What for? Oh, well, keep of two pigs for one month, 15 shillings. What? Uh, well, uh, actually, what I'll do, I'll take the small pig in full settlement. So you not only steal me pigs, but you charge me 15 shillings for the privilege. Oh, it's a rule of the company, you can't break it. Oh, no. Well, here's where I break something belonging to the company. Uh, hello? Has he gone? No. Oh, you uh, This is the station. What can I do for you? What's that? A fire? Where? At the farm? Whose farm? <laughs> no, good gracious. What are you talking about? What? The, the haystack's gone? And the barn? Whose barn's? Oh, dear me. And the house. Whose house? Yours. <laughs> How's Mrs. Uh, Murphy and the Quinzies? <laughs> hey, what was all that about? Never you mind. You send those pigs back to Murphy's farm before they cause me more trouble. And if you see a stork flying about here, throw something at it. What's that? Oh, that'll be the express. What, a train? Good heavens, when's it due? Ten minutes, but it won't stop. What do you mean it won't stop? It will. I oh, know it won't. It only stops at important stations. Yes, well, in future, this is going to be an important station. It's going to stop today. Off the line. God, it's not dry. Well, who cares? There's a station, not a laundry. Ah, see? <coughs> cool, you want old cop it? Stop me in a train for no reason? You mind your own business. I'm station master here, and if I want a train to stop, it stops. Oh, the gate! Where's the wheel that opens that gate? Over there. I train for. Well, I'm the new station master here. Well, what about it? Well, I thought I'd give you a chance of making my acquaintance. What? Do you think I want my train held up every time some dirty little hall changes its staff? Dirty little hall? Don't you talk like that about my station? Station, do you call it? <laughs> it's a nice or a dump, that's what it is. You don't think any decent train to stop here, do you? Ah, oh, well, they're gonna stop here. I'm not gonna have my station ignored. Dirty little dump, indeed. 
Oh, Keep take your train anyway. Take your hands off my train. Well, you take your feet off my platform. Now listen, you're wasting your time. Go on to it. Can't you move up a bit? No. Can't you move up and cut the yard? Oh, go away. Well, a couple of inches in. Get the frame with you. Uh, What's the trouble here? Uh, What's all the noise about? Goodbye, Ben. Yeah, the nearly as dirty as when he took them off. <laughs> Right away, Mike. Hey, wait a minute. Here. You can't tell him I don't wait like that. I'm the station master here. All aboard for Bally Hooley, Bally Kelly, Bally Bobby. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, stay where you are, Mike. You run it on and play. When I'm ready. <laughs> all aboard for Bally, uh, Bally Buggles and all the other Bally places. You don't even know where the train's going to. Well, why should I? When it leaves here, I'll wash my hands of it. All right, Mike. Push off. He goes when I tell him. Go ahead, Mike. I don't want any impertinence from you. <laughs> you big, sloppy-looking misfit. Why don't you get a proper hat? <laughs> What do you mean, a proper hat? Right away, Larry. Your station smells like a backyard dustbin. It isn't even on the map. Why, you, 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 God, you. Black thing. Four eyes. And you mind you stop when you come here next time and there'll be trouble in your mouth. Leave it. Uh, not on the map, it means. Uh, sauce. Oh, well, maybe it could do with a coat of paint. Hey, have you knocked those up? Can't I made a mistake and got out of the wrong station. Oh, well, that's all right then. Yeah. Well, don't stand there. Go on. Show some peas. My pension? A letter from the station master. What are you doing to the station? Putting it on the mat. Governor's idea. It's all right. No answer. Our bottle. Eh? That's not the way to spell it. There are two L's in Kelly. Can't have that. Thirteen letters. Unlucky. Oh. Well, uh, we'll take one of the K's out. Nobody will notice. Huh? You're wasting your time. What's that? You're wasting your time. Well, what do you think you're doing there? Just watching you waste in your time. All right, well, you waste your time and I'll waste mine. What are you burying? Yeah. I'm not burying anything. I'm planting lobelia. You're wasting your time. Why? You won't be here when they come up. Hey, can't you get rid of him? Is he a relation of yours? No, but we both go out with the same girl. Oh, well, uh, let's ignore him. Here, you go and wait for the office in case my Belfast call comes through. You're wasting your time. All right, I'll buy it. What's the answer? There wasn't a breath of wind last night. Well, what's that going to do with me? Yet the sails of the windmill went round and round and round. Good day to you. Hey, what are you doing to that machine? Take the bit of chocolate. Well, what's the idea of kicking it? What do you think the stock's for? To blow down if the kick don't work. To blow down the kick don't work? Here, I tell you something. What? Telephone's ringing. Get out of it. Hello? The fast speaking. You wanted us. Who is that? This is Buggles Kelly. What's that you said? Buggles Kelly. B for basket. Hey? What? Who did? I did not. I said, this is Buggles Kelly. That's the name of my station. Oh, it's you again. Well, what is it this time? All right, I'll put you through to Mr. Brock. Mr. Brock. Yes? Porter? Well, I'm not a railway porter. I'm porter the station master. No, not both, only one. I'm station master porter at Buggles, um, on your railway. Well, what the devil do you want now? I've already sent you 200 posters and 50 gallons of paint. What have I got down there, a circus? Oh. You want to run an excursion? Where to? Well, I don't know yet, but there must be a lot of nice places in Ireland. I mean, there's Kilkenny, where the cats come from, and uh, Connemara, where they have all the bogs. Then there's uh, Limerick, the home of poetry. Limerick. You know, there was a young lady of Gloucester. How many tickets could you sell? What shall I say? Uh, oh, sweetheart, double cluster. Oh, sweetheart, double... What are you talking about? The young lady from Gloucester. She said... Listen, it... I'll kick that one tooth of yours out and leave you stark naked, you old fool. 
No, not you, no, no. Listen, how many people can we get to go to Connemara? Well, there's the old party from the church. Uh, there's the church party. And the girl at the post office. And the post office staff. And my bird. And his bird. Listen, yeah. get out of it. Get out. Uh, well, I can't give you the exact number at the moment, but in, in rough figures, I should say uh, uh, quite a lot. Oh, I should think two carriages would be enough with what we've got. Oh, just one other little thing we shall want. An engine. Thank you. Hey, what all this stuff have we got? Got plenty of coal trucks. Well, you can't send people on an excursion in coal trucks. I mean carriages. You can't send people on an excursion in carriages. Why not? Because we ain't got any. Oh, you go and play me a plaster scene. Hey, there's an old carriage over there, but I don't think it'll roll. I mean, everything on this station is either too old or it won't work. And you're both. Go on, roll a pair of you. Go on. Here you are. Well, all we're going to do is to get it out from amongst those trucks. That's right. What's right? All we've got to do is to get it out from amongst those trucks. Well, I just said that. I know, I heard you. Well, get your coach off and get to it. Come on. We should need Gladstone. What are you talking about? Of course, you don't know who Gladstone is, do you? What well, do you mean the man who made the bags? Oh, Gladstone's our engine. Why you tell me we've got an engine? He never asked us. Oh, come on, leave me to it. I'll bet you stay here in all those wheels. I haven't got an oil can. Well, get one out of the crew. There she is. Isn't she a beauty? What is it, the rocket? That's Gladstone. Lovely lines, ain't she? Where does he go? How do you think he got here? I thought maybe that stalker brought it. Here, yeah, wait a minute. Let me go first. She knows me. Uh -huh. Oh, what's all the decorations for? Relief from Mafeking. Blimey, you just heard of it. Oh, well, where's the soft starter? Well, you can't start it till you get it on the boil. Oh, come on, do something about it. Come on. All right. Oh, good morning. Got a match? Yes. Now I'll start it. You can't start it until that end points to 80. Well, how do you get it to 80? You stoke it. Well, where's the coal? In the scuttle. Yeah, oh. Oh, there's not enough coal there to boil an egg. And it's been put in the tender. Oh, that's all right. Here, yeah, yeah, here, you can't destroy these. Well, they're company property. Destination boys. Look, Belfast, Tipperary, Dublin, Cheltenham. Oh, you can burn that one. Wait. Yes? I boiled it. But I don't see how you're going to get the carriage out in the middle of those trucks. Well, we're going to shunt it out. Well, you know what the trouble is, don't you? No, what? Those trucks never would have been put there in the first place. Well, I know that, you old fool. The point is they've got to be shifted. Come on. <laughs> now, look here. Look, there's the carriage there, you see. Mm. Now, uh, turn out your pockets, Albert. Come on. That's right. Now, that'll be, uh, that'll be the line of trucks there. And you this, see? This is the side in here, isn't it? Ah, it's the station. You're on the wrong side. Get over here. That's right. Now, now, see, where were we? Now, there's Gladstone. These are the trucks, and that's the carriage. Now, the problem is to get it out. Well, if we had a crane, we could lift it out. If we had a crane, we... With some dynamite, we can blow it out. And you shut up, too. Now, I'm Gladstone. Now, I'm Gladstone. Well, we can't have two Gladstones. Here, you can be the railway carriage. If I can't be Gladstone, I'm not going to play. That's the, uh... uh this will be... Uh, 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 you got me all mixed up now. Well, oh, that's yours, Clever. You show us. Well, I say Gladstone's here. How can Gladstone be there? I'll tell you where Gladstone is. It's Whoa. you! Good morning, gentlemen. Just a little uh, staff drill in case one of our engines ever got away. 
You'll be the new station master, I'm thinking. I am, and... Uh, we represent the tradesmen of Buggles Kelly, and we want some trains. <clears throat> oh, trains. Oh. oh, yes, well, we've got plenty of them here. But it didn't have one of them stops. What? Huh. You mean didn't stop? Why, we had a train stop here on, um, on Tuesday. Well, where do you want to go to? Just to the places mentioned, on them tickets. What? All of them? No less. We've supplied goods to the value of them tickets. And you've either got to provide us with trains, or give us our goods back. Oh, that's absolute nonsense. We don't go to our customers and demand our journeys back. I hold on there. We'll hear what your head office has to say. Good day to you. Uh, oh, gentlemen, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, don't go. I didn't say I wouldn't do it. As a matter of fact, I'm making up a special now. I'm just waiting for the OK from Belfast. Oh, excuse me, my engine. Could you come back tonight? What? what? You? At night? We will not. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm very busy just now. Where could I see you? You know Barney's Bar? I know Barney's Bull. Oh, oh Barney's Bar? Yes, of course, the local. Well, I'll see you there. But just now, I've got some shunting to do, so uh, if you don't mind, I'll shunt off. There's a signal. Hey, side! Where you send those trucks? Yes, down there. You've done it. Well, we've got the carriage anyway. Yes, but if you want to keep it, you better get it off the main line. Why? They expect to be here any minute. Yeah. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on. <coughs> oh, go on. Why didn't it start? Well, do something. Force and leave us. You've done it. You've got to let all the steam out. Well, we'll have it. We can always make some more when we want it. Yes, but we want it now. The carriage is still on the main line. Yeah. Well, don't stand different there. Get out and push. Here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm coming. Here, here, what, what day? Does it tell last if we don't get this thing shifted? It's the 19th. Here, see what it says here? On April the 19th, summertime will start. Clocks should be adapted accordingly. There you are, see, we got lots of time. Yeah, that's quite correct. Yeah. Hey, that's addressed to me. Yeah, that's right. Well, what's the idea of opening my letters? Well, I couldn't have told you it was from if I hadn't opened it. Well, if you should you leave my letters alone, will you? <coughs> to adjust the service to the new time, the 11 o'clock express on this day will run at 12 o'clock summertime. Well, what are we hurrying about? We've got two hours. How do you make out we got two hours? Well, if we put the clocks back an hour and the train's an hour late, that's two hours, isn't it? Hey, you put the clocks forward and the train back. Well, what do we get then? We've got the express coming any minute. Uh, what are you talking about? Listen, if the train's an hour late, how can it be coming now? It's summertime. Summertime? <laughs> the old fool's potty. Summertime or wintertime, if a train's late, it's late. Yeah, that's right. It's like you put the clocks forward. Well, if the clocks go forward, then the train's already gone. No, 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 you put the clocks back. Of course you do. You lengthen the day by taking an hour off the end and sticking it on the beginning. No, 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 you take an hour off the beginning and stick it on the end. That's winter time. Now, winter time, you put them back. Well, that's what I said. Oh, you said to put it back for summertime. Yes, that's right. It ain't. You put the clocks forward, you make the train early. Oh, would you believe it? Listen, I know what I'm talking about. You don't put the clocks forward, you put them back. And you put the train back. I see. You put everything back. Yes. I'm sorry. You're all right. Well, of course I'm right. The train won't be here for another two hours. Excursions, only tickets? No. Oh, let me get sell some. Nobody wants to go to Connemara. That's because you haven't tried to sell them in the right way. All right, you have a go. Double one to get. Thank you. 
been a nice day. It has that. Yeah, it's one of those days when it'd be nice to be at Connemara. It would be. Do you know Connemara? Indeed I do. Do you have an uncle there? Oh, have you? Mm. Oh, have a drink, will you? Thanks. I'll have a point of porter. Thank you. This grand old place, Connemara. It is that. Fine salmon in the river. Sure. Grouse on the moors. And deer in the hills. That's much cheaper than the town. Here. Yeah. Oh, your health. Thank you. Good health. So you've an uncle in Connemara? Mm. Well, I'm, uh, I'm on an excursion there tomorrow. How would you like to pay your uncle a surprise visit? I wouldn't surprise him. Why not? Sure, he's in the cemetery. <laughs> You're wasting your time! You frozen face old... Oh, good evening, gentlemen. Now, what about it? Hey? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Well, gentlemen, I've been going into the matter with these tickets of yours, and uh, I think I've got a solution. We don't want a solution. Have you got old trains? Yes. Well, in a way, perhaps not trains, but I've got a train. Well, gentlemen, I've arranged an excursion for you. And all you've got to do is to give me your old tickets, and I'll give you these new ones in exchange. An excursion, is it? And will it be after visiting all the places mentioned on our list? Oh, well, I couldn't guarantee that. You see, I've arranged the excursion to go to Connemara. Connemara? Where's that? What, Connemara? Well, it's, it's um, you, uh, you go down the line and you take the first tunnel on the left. And how about my ticket to Tipperary? Oh, it's a long way to Tipperary. Now, the reason I'm sending you to Connemara... Eh? Never mind about Connemara. It's Bally Bunyan I want to be at. Well, perhaps I can arrange that later. Now, Connemara... Uh, listen, if you come to my shop and ask for turnips, I give you turnips. I don't try to give you carrots. I'm asking for Tipperary, and it's Tipperary where I want to go. Oh, I, I, I don't, don't get excited. Don't get excited. I mean, if you set your heart on Tipperary, well, perhaps I can arrange to order the excursion. Hmm. Well, that sounds reasonable. Reasonable indeed. And me with a ticket for Bally Bunyan. Well, I, I, I'm only trying to please. Kill him. Did you not hear the gentleman say we were going to Tipperary? That's a blazes with your Tipperary and your Bally Bunyan. What am I going to do with my cork? Well, we're well, going to Bally Bunyan. Bally Bunyan is the finest place in Ireland. What? what? You're not going to stand for that, are you? No, you're not. Bally Bunyan is the finest place in the world. And that down your throat. Well, what are you going to say to that? Bally Bunyan. I'd sooner go to Connemara, and that's bad enough. What's that you're saying about the hometown Connemara? You keep out of this and mind your own business. Well, yeah, he can't talk to you like that, can he? And neither can you. Look <laughs> <laughs> oh, what he's done to your beer. Would you mind stepping this way just for a minute? I'd be delighted. Go on. Thread on the tail of me coat. All right. Knock that off. <laughs> And I come from Dublin. I'm sorry, I can't... Sit down! I was about to send for you, Mr. Porter. Take a drink. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I... Take a drink! Yes. He has long life to you, Mr. Station Master. Uh, same to you, Mr. I didn't catch your name. Call me Joe. Joe, yes. What's this train you got running tomorrow? Oh, that? Oh, it's a little idea of my own. It's a special excursion, non-stop saloon. Going road. east or west? Oh, it's going both ways. East going and west coming back. It's going to Connemara. Connemara? The very place. How many tickets have you sold? Uh, oh, let me see now. Uh, uh, have you sold any? Uh, no. Right. I'll take the lot. Yeah. What, the whole 200? Why, you, you must have a large family. Oh, no, it's uh, it's a football team I'm taking. The Buggles Kelly Wednesday. The who? The Buggles Kelly Wednesday. We're playing a match. Uh, well, on a Tuesday. Oh, how funny. Well, uh, what about the money? What? Oh, it's just a little formality, that's all. I'll pay you when I come back. Win or lose? Win or lose. And I want that train at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, no, that's impossible. My excursion's not running till ten. Very well, that's just too bad. The deal's off. Yeah. Oh, don't say that. I'll, uh, I'll see that it runs early for you. And uh, how about the, uh, the, the doings? That'll be all. 
And don't forget, six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock, yes. Uh, good night. Good luck to the uh, Thursday, Tuesday, uh, the, the Wednesday. Come on, what's all this? He's no come, he's out. Oh, that's a nice thing. What do you do with my station trolley? He always brings it, that's how he gets home. Albert pushes him. Oh, does he? Who's going to push him tonight? It looks like you are. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ah. Uh, Is it right what Pat tells me? You're starting the train now. Of course it's right. Go on, hurry up. The passengers will be here any minute. Get a move on. Get into your cab. Ah, <coughs> oh, good morning, gentlemen. Morning. Tickets, please. Morning. Tickets, please. Good morning. Tickets, please. Good morning, sir. Tickets, please. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, good, oh, good morning, sir. Tickets, please. Thank you. All aboard for fast, non-stop special express dining car saloon train to Kalimara. All aboard. Tickets, please. Oh, I've got uh, hey, what's that? You can't take luggage by hand on an excursion. Oh, those are the goalposts. We almost take our own. Oh, I see. Oh, that's all right. I say, what's in that? Oh, those are lemons for half time. Oh, I see. Hey, you won't put that on the rack, will you? Already? Sure. Better go. Hey, you come here. What are we waiting for? Have you got to do all that? Oh, yes, very important. Still, if you're in a hurry, perhaps you wouldn't mind taking them and clipping them on the way. Thank you. Hello, Blacken. This is Buckles Kelly reporting excursion away. What excursion? There's nothing under my schedule for four hours. I don't care about your schedule. Expect my excursion any minute. Hey, hey, come on, get up. Get out of it. Come on. Get, get up. I did line it better this time. Get out. What do you think it is, a rest home? Hey, what's the idea? I'll show you what the idea is. Think I want to run this station by myself? Look at this block. Look at it! A nice day of affairs. Sleeping till this hour. Come on, get up. Come on. Now, day don't start till eight o'clock. Your day starts where mine starts. Your, your hours have got to conform to the prescription, the, 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 by the regulation. You've got to get up and I tell you. around here. I've just had to go and get that train off by myself. Huh? What train? Here. What train? Well, the train's just gone out. Yeah, there ain't been no train out of here since last Tuesday. You should be saying I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm saying it now. Yeah, I never heard no train go out. Or me. Oh, well, you weren't in a fit condition to hear anything, either of you. I'll attend to that. Hello, Station Master Buckle Skelly speaking. What's this special train that you say has just left your place? It has not. But it left here at six o'clock. I know it was six because I, uh, I looked at our clocks. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Oh, well, maybe it's had a puncture or something. What do you mean, am I sure it left? Of course I am, I saw it off myself. Don't you talk to me like that. <gasps> you let me tell you that... Uh, hello, hello. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's funny. Bratton Junction says the train hasn't come through yet. Of course it hasn't. There never was any train. Hey, do you think I don't know a train when I see one? I see some funny things after a night at Barney's Bar. I suppose you didn't think you saw any passengers on this train you think you saw? Of course I did. They were the whole of the Buggles Killing Wednesday football team. They're going to play a cup tie. There's only one football team here, the Swifts. And they won't go without me. Why not? I'm their centre forward. You... Listen, will you do me a favour? Yeah. Well, tomorrow, just before the express comes, go to sleep on the rails. If it's one of your trains, it won't hurt him. Yeah. So you still don't believe me? Well, listen, I clipped all the tickets and the clippings will be on the platform now. I'll go and get them to prove it to you. Hello? Look here, I've held the Down Express for four minutes. Has that special train of yours come back? Or what's happened to it? He's holding up the Express. What shall I tell him? Tell him to let it through. You tell him. Hello, is that Bracken? Had the experts through. I heard the excursion isn't leaving until 10 o'clock. Oh, the old man. <laughs> oh, he had a thick night. Been seeing things. Yeah. Okay, suits us. He says he's going to report him. Poor old governor. Yeah, he's going like the others. There'll be another clock here soon. Yeah. We'd better humour him. The clippings are not there now. Of course they're not. What do you mean, of course they're not? They were there. Of course they were. Well, we must have blown them away. Of course it must. What's the matter with you two? Do you think I'm balmy? Well, of course, course we, we don't. don't. Now, understand this. I clipped those tickets, the train left at six o'clock, and I saw it off. And don't say, of course you did. Then where's it now? Between here and Bracken. Uh, well, if you know. Why? Well, uh, uh, go on, Albert, you tell him. Well, it's like this. If you had a drain... And a rabbit went down it. And you weren't sure if the rabbit went down it or not, what would you do? Send for the plumber. What's this got to do with my train? But come into that, you bung a ferret in. A what? A ferret. What, in my train? Yes, in the drain. If it comes out the other end with blood on its nose, you know that... You know that somebody's punched it. That's what's going to happen to you. No, you know that the rabbit's there. And if it comes out the other end with no blood on its nose... Well, then you know that the rabbit isn't there. I have the faintest idea what you two are talking about. What rabbit is this? An allegorical rabbit. A what? Allegorical rabbit. I don't care if it's an Austin rabbit. What's it going to do with my train? Because your train's a rabbit. Well, where's the ferret? A down expressing it a beer any minute. He let it through. Yeah, what? You let the express through with, 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 with my express on... Listen, my lad, if there's any blood on my train's nose... Get out of here. Look out. You see any blood? Got a drop. You tell them, they don't believe me. Well, I'll tell them about the football team. Did they or did they not leave here this morning? What football team? Well, the one the man bought the tickets for. What man? The well, fellow I met in the back room. Well, that's my private room. But there's nobody in there. Nobody? Listen, what's the matter with everybody? Listen, you know very well... Uh... No, I can see that you don't. Listen, I tell you, I went in there and we fixed up about sending away the Buggles Curry Wednesday. That's what you been telling me next, there's no such team. I never heard of it. But they went away on my excursion to Connie Marla. You remember me trying to sell tickets for Connie Marla? I do not. Was anybody here last night? I can see you were. You must have seen me. Thought I was busy with two other fellows. Yeah. You'll admit there was a fight here. Well, there was a bit of an argument. Yeah, well, it was then I went in the back room and met this man. He, uh, he got one eye. One eye? Yes. Did he say who he was? No, but he told me to call him Joe. Glory be. When I do, the miller. Oh, I don't know what his trade was, but that's the man that went with the party on the train this morning. The train? He's seen that too. Well, of course I have. I waved it out. Why, what's the matter? Seen the miller, you're no company for the likes of us. Hey, well, what's the idea of all this? The mill wheel turns, though the night is still. He haunts the station, he haunts the hill, and the land that lies between. Oh, he's a house agent, is he? Well, I want his name and address. <laughs> he was took my train ten years ago. Yes, well, he was took to my train this morning, and I want an explanation. Now, like a good man, don't be talking about such things in this house. Now, let's sleep in ghost life. Listen, I'll stand for ghosts with their heads tucked under their arms, but these had goalposts. All I know is somebody's bothered a train to me, and I'm going to find out what he's done with it. Come on. No, we're not coming. They're opening half an hour. Oh. Well, I know. I'm wasting my time. Hello? 
What's the matter with your station? Doesn't anyone answer the phone? Well, I'm sorry, I've just been to the local. Uh, the local signal box. Where's this excursion? Why, haven't you seen it? No, and nobody has. Hmm. Well, that's funny, isn't it? There's nothing funny about it. Are you dead certain you sent it off? Well, are you dead certain you sent it to me? Of course I am. Well, well then I'm dead certain I sent it off. Then where the blazes is it? I don't know. Who had it last? What are you babbling about, man? The train was sent to you and it hasn't been heard of since. Well, I can't understand it. Are you sure your driver knows the way? There hasn't been an accident, has there? Not according to my ferret. Hello? Just a moment, please. This is Bracken. Where is your train? Have you or have you not sent that excursion off? Yes. Well, where is it? Well, we've mislaid it for the moment. Excuse me. It went off at six o'clock. When? What? It was scheduled for ten o'clock. Is that a different one to the ten o'clock one? No. Are you contradicting me? No, not you. You. Yes. No. What do you mean by changing those schedules? Well, it suited my customers better. Customers? What customers? I'm not talking to you. Will you pull yourself together, man? I am together. Well, where is it? Get off the line. Ring off. Ring off? Do you know who you're talking to? Yes, I'm talking to him. I'll report this to Brock's head office. Oh, yes? Well, you're too late. I'm talking to the old fool now. What old fool? What are you gibbering about? I can't hold up the whole service. Can I stick me signals up? Yes, if it'll give you any pleasure. Let me tell you something else, too. I'm going to ring up. Oh, are you? Well, let me tell you something. You can pack up your things or go back to England. And if you're not out of that station by tonight... Tonight? Well, it'll take me all day to pack. What's the hurry? You're fired. Fired? Yes, fired. Oh. Well, I've been thrown out of better stations than this. Hey, what you packing for? I'm leaving. What, tonight? Have you told the head office? They told me. What's the matter? He's got the push. Poor old gal. Here, you can't go like this. Have a bit of bait. No, I wouldn't deprive you of it. God, it won't keep much longer. No, thanks. I thought you wouldn't stay with us very long. He never did like station masters. Who? One eye Joe the Miller. <laughs> Listen, I've had enough of him. Remember, that's such a lot of rubbish. It ain't rubbish. Every night when the moon gives light, the miller's ghost is seen. He walks the track with a sack on his back. And his ear all painted green, I know. He haunts the tunnel, he haunts the hill and the land that lies between. Ah, it's all me eye. Here, I'll give you this. Haunts oh, the tunnel. There's no tunnel on our line. Oh, not on the new line, but on the old loop line there's one. Loop line? Oh, well, first time I've ever loop line. He runs through Pooka Hill. Thank yous now. Through Pooka Hill? Where's it lead to? Oh, across the border. Border? Loop line? Tunnel? I've got it! Go on! Where are we going? Find my train! I don't want any more arguments, we're going. I shouldn't. Besides, we might overwork Gladstone. since she was out yesterday, you know. I, I warned you, it's haunted. Ah, oh, shut up. Come on, let's have a look at the map, Albert. Here, hold that, Jerry. Now, there's Pooka Hill, and there's the mill on the top. Here's Bubbles Kelly, and there's the line that runs to Bracken Junction. There's where the line crosses the border, and there's the border. Now, here's where the old line branches out here. That's right, and one eye Joe was killed right there. The Banshee! Banshee, it's Gladstone on the boil. Come on. He said, whoa. Oh, I thought he said, Joe. Oh. Well, this is the branch line, all right. Now, where's the point lever? Be quiet. Shh. I've got it. Yeah, I got it first. Yeah. Oh, look, look, fresh oil. Hello. Now, take a look at that. What does that prove? There's been a cattle show. Cattle show? That's a football favour. Well, it shows we're on the right track anyway. Well, we'll see where it leads us. Go on. Right. Look, there's the tunnel. Oh, there's something across it. I told you they don't use it. It's hold it up. Oh. Well, slow down. You'll hit it. Right. Slow down. Put your brakes on. Right. Brake! 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 <laughs> What you've done. Why didn't you stop him when I told you to? Well, I asked stopped. Well, you couldn't have yourself with that thing, Vic. Look, there it is. My excursion. Now who's potty? Well, 
Well, I wonder where everybody is. Oh, that's they're playing football. Now, who plays football in the dark? Night school. Yeah. Don't be silly. They haven't even got back the goalpost. Oh, now we've found a train. Let, let's go back. Well, after they're messing me about, pinching my train, leaving it lie about in the strange tunnel, not me. Besides, they haven't even paid for the tickets. Hey. Look, my tickets. They haven't even clipped them. Some more over there. Oh, blimey, they chucked them away. Well, what a nerve. Hey, follow me. No, I'm not going in there. Oh, yes, you are. You're going to do as you're told, and you too. It's not my business to poke me out in other people's tunnel. That's right. You mean you say you're going to let me go in there alone to face, uh, or whatever this is to face? Yes. All right. I'll get inside. <laughs> It's all right, I'm behind you. Would you like to come in front? No, I can see fine from here. What was that? Voices. Must be somebody there. No. Yes. Mm. What's that growling? My stomach. Oh, keep it quiet. Hey. Guns. Funny thing to take to a football match. They're not footballers, they're gun runners. <laughs> Come on, boys, get that lot down. Oh, what's your hurry? No one's gonna find us here. Oh, if we're not over the border before sunrise, we'll all be finding ourselves in the jail. Go on, get that lot down, but I get the other one down from upstairs. Come on, Mickey, what's the matter with you? Can't you get that? Come on, hurry up, we're gonna be here all night to work. Oh, this is a funny looking place, isn't it? <laughs> Crikey, we're in one of Joe's cockeyed mill. Oh, dear. Hey, quick, behind this. Turn to the left. Oh, no, no, Don't be silly. If we go to the right, we'll be wrong. It's left. It's left. Yes, it's left. No, it's left. Of course it's left. I'm saying it's right. Who is this? Come on, old lady. Listen, if we go to the left, we, we, we turn around and get to the other road. Right. Where, good evening. Where, if we go there to the right. All of you. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, uh, you dropped a ticket. Don't you start anything. There are three of us. No, two. One. Follow me. Come on downstairs and hurry. Bullshit! Hey, Let's barricade the door. Okay, but then we can't get out. Oh, well, they can't get in. Right, right. They're all coming up. You open it yourself. Where's Harper? They must have got out some other way. Let's get back to the train. It's all right, they're going. Hey, 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 what's the matter? I thought you'd gone. Yeah, the trouble with you is you think too much. Time up. Time up, you can't do that. I'm a British subject. What are you going to do? You'll know soon enough. Right, you can't do that, I tell you. Yeah? And who's going to stop us? Floody B, the ghost. The Phantom Miller. What are you doing?
Get your Grogan. All right. They can't get away. We'll get them when we come back. Flip that boat! They take from the lateral way. Now what are we going to do? We can't get down. We can tie a bit of rope so they do. We can slide down. That hook wouldn't bear our weight. We'd have to tie it. It tied to that beam. So good that goes round when the wind blows, wind us up again. Never mind, it's a good idea. We can try. Go on, give us a rope. Oh, we ain't got a rope. Well, what are we arguing about then? Well, what was that? I don't know. You touching something? No, I'm holding on. I mean, we're oscillating. I, I, I shall be sick in a minute. Well, you haven't got enough troubles in the ears. Go on, stick your fingers in your ears and count up to a hundred. Hey, what's this? Cool, look. Oh, the, the, the uh, propeller. Now, all we're going to do is just pull on one of these uh, sails, and when it gets to the bottom, drop off. It's going round. Well, something's holding it. Must be a brake somewhere. Ah, perhaps this is it. Oh, we've got another perfect control. Come on, Albert. Yes, what is it? We're going down on the windmill sails. Go on, you're first. What, right down there? No, no. Go on this horizontal sail. Which? Well, this one, point to three o'clock. We'll lower you down. Then when you get to six o'clock, you can drop off. You understand? Yes, six o'clock. What time is it now? No, no, six o'clock at the bottom. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Come on, come on. You're right. Are you along here? Yes, go on. Oh, it's a long way down. Never mind, you'll soon be there. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. You all right? Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, just a minute. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm back again. Hurry up. Are you nearly there? Nearly. I'm ready. He's ready. All right, he's okay. Come on, you're next. Stop it, then. Get to it. Him. You climb out on the other one and you'll bring him down. Oh, all right. Hold on. Hurry up. I'm cold up here. Stop it! 
Of the hay cart. This we might have thought of taking the fork out too. Jump to it. Get moving, no funny business.
gun. Give me a rifle. We haven't any ammunition. Give it to me. Calling Belfast, urgent. Calling Belfast. Belfast, standing by. Go ahead, please. Station, stand by for altered schedule. Stand by for altered schedule. Stand by for altered schedule. Side track 24 good. Side track 24 good. Right. Hold 16 Express. Hold 16 Express. Right. Diverge on the way to West Yard. Westyard terminus. All cars proceed to Westyard terminus. All cars proceed to Westyard terminus. All cars proceed to Westyard terminus. Thank me, thank that. Grand old engine, that. Ninety years old. Yes, good for another night. 